Hey y'all, it's me again. Another picture of my 1968 Firebird Sprint. Uh, trunk is, what can you say about the trunk? It's, it's almost perfect. I mean, it's still got the weights in the corners. Uh, the convertible top is really nice. Got a little issue there, but that ain't nothing. Doesn't appear to have ever been fixed. There's the original color of the car. It's uh, some kind of burgundy color. I think that was a Pontiac factory color. Burgundy with a white top. Here's the interior. I'll take another post with, or another movie with the top up. Carpet's got some fading. Seat has one tear right here. As you can see, any good seam man, I'm sure could put that back up. Sorry, I haven't vacuumed it. Haven't got around to it yet. Um, it's got the rally pack gauge on it, gauges, fuel on top, oil, temperature, uh, generator, or alternator, whatever. Original AM radio, that does work if you can find any good AM stations. Dash has one crack in it on the passenger side, I'll note that here in just a second. Like I said, the car is in really, really great shape for a 1968, and these cars did not survive. Everybody got one of these, would pull the engine out. Transmission out throw a 400 in it or a big block whatever There's the crack on the dash. That's the original dash pad But all in all the car is in really good solid Shape for what it is Let's walk around here and look at the motor Like I said, it's a 4.1 liter overhead cam For you Pontiac fans out there. I'm a Pontiac fan too but this has got to be the ugliest motor I've ever seen. But it is Peppy from the factory with the four barrel, 215 horsepower. It's got new points, condenser, wires, plugs, heater hoses. I have swapped out the original radiator with an aluminum from Champion just so I could drive the car. It's been driven in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, all over the Dragon down there, US 129. Down through North Carolina and Cherokee, the tack on the hood works. Um, it drives very nice. Brake stop, doesn't hang, doesn't pull to the left or right. It's just a really good old little car. It's not what everybody wants because it's not a V8. Now, I'll show you. I think it's, I said it had 91,000, probably a little bit more than that. 91,000, so pretty amazing we'll fire it up for you real quick real hard to start got a little exhaust leak got the four barrel numbers matching the dual exhaust from the factory cast iron header All my numbers and research that I've tried to do on this car, it's very hard to find out exactly how many they made. But the best I can tell from internet searches and Pontiac Motor Groups, around 1,256 with the options on this car. So it makes it, I would think, pretty rare. And like I said, to find one with a 2 point, or a 4.1 liter 250 six cylinder, which they only made, if I'm not mistaken, 68, 69. There's only two years of the overhead cam, 250, with the four barrel. So take that for what it's worth. But anyway, sweet little car. Thought I'd share it with you. I'm gonna try to price it and sell it, maybe on eBay. Um, hopefully, Barn Finds will pick it up, send it out there to America. To see if it'd be somebody truly loves a little car, because I've loved it for several years. I just don't have any room for it anymore. I've got other projects. But anyway, thanks guys for looking. I appreciate it. Um, you've seen that for sale sign in the back. That's my phone number. <laughs> Area code 270 566 3804. Give me a call if you're interested. Thank you.